Hey guys, Chase Connor here with HDR Communications. Uh, we at HDR, we are your local supplier and rep for the Kenwood two-way business radios. And we're here to make selling radios easy for you guys. Um, you know, you have great customer relationships. We have years of expertise um, selling Kenwood, matching up to other radios. And um, you put us together and that's how we're looking to sell radios. So I'm um, just here to make it real easy for you guys. Um, and today I want to go over three things that you guys need to know when selling radios. Um, these are just some of the most asked about things recently that customers are asking about. Um, so I want to go over matching up to other radios, um, uh, high noise headsets. So if you've got customers working in loud areas, just some different headsets we offer, um, as well as uh, range extending repeaters. So we're getting into a lot of bigger facilities nowadays, you know, big battery plants, um, Amazon facilities. Um, when you get up over about a half million square foot, your customer's gonna need a repeater to get full coverage on their radios. Um, but anyway, so let, let's get started with really what's number one. Um, a lot of customers, whether it's Motorola, Hytera, um, in recent years, they've had their radios discontinued or, or still on back order. Um, or maybe the price has gone up a whole bunch. And so more than ever, we've got customers coming to us asking for a Kenwood alternative that'll talk to what they have. So just know we are able to program the Kenwoods to talk to Motorola, Icom, Hytera, uh, whatever you guys might come across. Um, and really the easiest way to do it is if you can tell me, hey, I've got a customer that's using this model radio, uh, we can go ahead and quote you on the Kenwood that'll match up to that let you know how they compare. Uh, usually we offer more power, um, louder audio, um, and better durability for a lower price. Um, but just to show you an example here, I've got a Motorola and a Kenwood. Test, test, one, two, test, test. So got them matched up channel for channel. Um, so when your customer gets these, to them, they're really not gonna know the difference. Every channel is gonna work the same. Um, but they're going to be getting a lot better a lot better radio to hopefully a better price. So um, um, we've got great stock on the Kenwood. So we've been having a lot of success with getting matched up to other customers' radios. Um, and that's usually the easiest way um, to get into a new radio account. They might have 100 radios. You don't want to come to them and say, hey, you got to throw everything away and go with the Kenwoods. We'll, we'll bring the Kenwoods in as they need them, and it's a real nice, easy um, switch over for them. So matching up to customer radios, that's a big one. Uh, number two, um, working in a loud area. A lot of guys are using these radios and they might be in a loud manufacturing facility or on a job site. Maybe they're working a crane um, and it's just constant background noise. H how are you gonna hear a radio if it's on your hip and somebody's talking? Um, if you're in a loud area, forget about it. I mean, a lot of guys might use a speaker mic, so that helps. Now you've got the speaker up here on your shoulder. So this would plug into the radio. Um, but to take it one step further, we've got some other types of options, especially if you need hearing protection. Um, so one option might be, hey, you've got your, your shoulder mic here, and then we've got, it's called the KEP-2. This is a little earpiece that would plug in, plug into your shoulder mic. And then now you can listen, um, I don't have it, all wired up quite right, but you can listen and then you would still talk into your mic. Um, and then a cool thing with these earpieces is this is the ear tip that it comes with. You are able to go ahead and basically just swap. Um, we offer these high noise foam ear tips. So now you've got hearing protection and you've got communications. Um, and then you could throw another ear tip in the other ear um, or whatever you're looking to do. But this is just one example of a high noise headset. Um, we've also got these guys here. So if you, um, you know, maybe you need both ears protected or you need that loud noise canceling boom mic. Um, I do, I have seen some crane operators use these or just guys that are in a real loud area and they need, need some real solid hearing protection. So this would plug right into the radio and then you've got a nice push to talk button right on the wire here. Um, so this is a Kenwood headset. Another cool thing with the Kenwood headsets is that we can also do what's called hands-free mode. So as soon as you start talking, the radio will start transmitting. You don't even need to push a button. 
Um, so that's something we can program into the radio if that's what your customer is looking to do. Uh, usually I set it up where they just push a button to turn hands-free on and push it again to turn it off. But that'll only work with a Kenwood approved headset. Um, and then lastly, uh, repeaters. So if your customer's in a half million square foot facility or maybe they need to talk a couple miles down the road, um, they might find that even with a five watt digital radio, which is good for about a half million square feet or one to two miles, they might find that these just aren't cutting it for them. So in that case, we would bring in what's called a repeater. Um, this is just a box that we would set up at their facility. Uh, they're good for one channel or two channels if you go digital. So that means this could handle two radio channels simultaneously. Um, there's a um, decent sized antenna here. So we would mount this up as high as we can get it. It plugs into the repeater. And then as they're talking on their radios, their radio is going to hit the repeater and then that's going to boost it out over a much higher power um, at a much greater height. So I usually say you can pretty much double or triple your range with a repeater. And if we get the antenna 20, 30 feet up in the air, you might be getting 10 to 20 mile radius. Um, so it makes a huge difference. So like I said, big manufacturing plants, big job sites, um, even, um, you know, uh, municipalities, I mean, they're big with these, police and fire, which we don't really get into. But, um, you know, if you've got a big school district, anything like that, they're probably already using a repeater or they need one. So just know if your customer is saying, hey, I'm not getting enough range on my radios, there are options to, to get those boosted. Um, but yeah, I mean, so those are really just some of the things that we're getting asked about a lot. Um, matching up to other radios, yes, we can do that. Um, high noise headsets, this is just a fraction of what we offer. Um, if you let us know your customer's application, we can go ahead and recommend, hey, here's the exact headset for your needs. Um, as far as matching up to radios, I don't know if I went over this, but um, I usually say, hey, if you, if you could send us one of your customer's radios, we can go ahead and maybe get a couple Kenwoods matched up to it, send it for them to try. Um, we really just usually need to get the radio in our hands in order to match up to it. Um, and then obviously the repeaters. So range extending repeaters, very easy setup. Um, so pretty much anything your customer is going to ask you about, we have a solution for, and we're really looking forward to supporting you guys on next opportunity that comes your way. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, any questions now, I'll go ahead and take those.